Hey guys, it's Wicked Ohm here with the Whiz Vapor Puff Boy. Looks like a Game Boy. I'm super excited about it. Here's mine. I went for the green and black. I got pastel BMO, he got emo BMO. Emo BMO. Um, sorry we haven't been posting a lot lately. We've just had a lot going on between um, the accidental hole that I put in Ryan's wall with my foot. And I just recently lost my job, so everything's a mess right now. But we're coming at you with a review. Alright, so inside the box is the mod. I don't think my screen protector's on there, right? <laughs> I think they forgot to cut mine. I think they did. <laughs> yeah, because I have like this little, at least an inch of plastic, well, plastic wrap hanging off mine. It's very light, kind of cheap feeling. Oh shit. I hope that's not supposed to be how it's supposed to be. It doesn't have that. Well, yeah, yours is black. I have, like, it looks like you just scraped this on some concrete for a little bit. Mine's shiny throughout. Where's mine? Where's that? It takes dual 18650s and you just pop it out in the back like you would an actual Game Boy, so you just... I lost the box. Boom, it has the tassel strip thingy. Um, are your batteries right there, Judge? Uh, these are to the right. Okay. The other ones were my dead ones? Yeah. Also, it looks like on the 510, like, pin at the top, it looks like it's the Smash Brothers logo. It does! They're probably gonna get sued really hard. We didn't even do any, re or look at any reviews or anything like that. This was just an impulse buy. Um, a while ago, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my plastic since it's all goopy. Goopy. Um, we were like, this is going to get taken down really fast. Let's go ahead and grab it. Yeah. Um, I'll leave the link down below um, for you guys to take a look at them. It was super fast. We got, we ordered these, I think on Thursday. All of these are pressable. I have no batteries in, so I don't know what they do as of right now. Here's a fire button. Nice and clicky. Woods vapor. It, okay, doesn't want to I focus. don't think this actually comes with a handbook. I'm pretty sure they just put it on the... Yeah, this part doesn't come out. So, they're doing the eco-friendly thing. I lost my cable somewhere. But inside, you'll have a QR code that you can scan for the How to Use It book. And on the back, it says Star Trip. And I think that's really cute. Coco, will you quit licking your ass on camera? <laughs> No, don't come It's a good thing this is a channel for adults. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Coco. I'm gonna go get my batteries real quick. Alright, so we got them all set up. Um, this is the first mod I've used since I got my Aegis. Um, I have it completely stripped for the first time in a couple months. Um, trying to... <laughs> the screen is ultra retro. Um, it's an 8-bit looking board, almost like a computer chip. And... It's got a puff counter too. Oh, that's cool. And it's got a little screensaver. Mine's on the jellyfish. I don't know how to change it yet, but mine's also on the jellyfish. Um, it's very comfortable to hold. Like, I got baby hands, and it's easy. Ryan has bigger hands, so. And it's still fine. Yeah. It's not super heavy, so you can like grip your hands around it. Let's try the puff. I was trying to wait. I think I need to get a new coil on this. Like an actual like core coil. Okay. I don't need to change my cotton now on this RTA. it's been hitting really, really soft. Maybe if I turn up the wattage. This does go by 0.1 increments when you go up and down. And you use the up and down buttons to get mm -hmm. there. And there's a menu. You press the W button, which would be, I guess, the B on a Game Boy. And there's a mode called Picture. If it'll even pick up... No. <laughs> anyway, if you hold that down... Sometimes... I didn't know you had to hold it down. There you go. It brings up this menu. And you just select one out of ten. Doesn't matter, I'll do one. And then... Oh. 
Yeah, mine wasn't doing it just a second ago. He was able movies. to play, like, paint or snake on something. I was playing paint. Yeah. That's weird. Well, at any rate. Um, at the top, you have your puff counter on this very, very top. It's probably going to be hard to see recording this off my... Oh, there goes the jellyfish. Oh, I figured it out. It's bitboard. Picture is just where you can save them, so you can put them on your background. Okay. But right in the middle is your counter. These two sides... Er, Oh, my voice sounds weird. These two bars up here indicate your battery levels. Um, I have it in power mode, but can also do wattage, voltage, um, nichrome, TCI, whatever. I don't get into that shit. That's when I hand it over to Ryan. I'm like, fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use temperature control. I just don't see the point of it. For the people that do use it, I bet they really enjoy it. I just could never understand it. Oh, you can customize. Okay. Setting. Time setting reset. You can also do Celsius or Fahrenheit. Let's see what languages. I can do this in Chinese! And scare Ryan! Oh no. Um, according to this, the OLED screen is 1.3 inches. It weighs about 170 grams. It puts out 10 to 200 watts. Uh, temperature range of 100 to 300. Voltage range to 1.0 volts to 8.0 volts. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the rated resistance is 0.1 ohm to about 3.0 ohm. Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> and this was made in Pluto, apparently. Made in Pluto. I love Pluto. The dwarf planet? I guess so. How'd they do that? Hold on, I don't remember where I saw it. Oh, about. About? Made in Pluto. Pluto. The first mod to ever be made in a dwarf planet. I love you, Pluto. Sailor Pluto's pretty great, too. I'll probably post a picture of Sailor Pluto for right here. <laughs> I actually really enjoy this mod. When I picked it up, I thought it'd be like real cheap, but it's actually pretty hefty. It it feels like a knockoff Game Boy, pretty much, but you can vape from it. It's nice. I wish the button on the side, your your fire button, would be a little bit more protruded. That's why I love my Aegis, because like that little skateboard ramp kind of PS3 trigger, that was easier for me to hold and like to be able to turn off. Um, a lot of my problem with my drag when I had it is that I would burn my clothes because I couldn't hit it fast enough. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was a... Actually, let's try that on here. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. <gasps> it says play life as a game. I saw that. It's really cool. Let me see if we can... Oh, we'll see when it comes up. Oh, it's got... Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Okay. So, I don't know if this will pick up. One, one two, three, four, five. Play life as a game. It's probably going to be backwards on your screen. It's got the creator of Puff Boy. The little, like, mascot. This is really neat. I like how the power bars are right at the top. God, I really like this mod, actually. I'm glad this was an impulse buy. Yeah, I definitely need a new coil. This one's burnt. It's nasty. I need new cotton. But, yeah. So, we're going to drop the link down below to where to buy this. This will, if you buy it through the link, it'll help me out a lot. Um, paying off my medical bills. So thank you in advance if you actually do that. Uh, spread with your friends and your nostalgia nerds. Yes. Um, there's no telling how long this is going to be on the market. Probably not for very long because there's no way the FDA is going to allow this to be on the shelf for maybe more than a couple months. I think we paid like a little over 70 after tax I paid totals. 72 I think. That sounds about right. It was like 68 or something. It was on clearance and so I was like alright bet and ordered it off of... I want to say 8-vape. I believe it was 8-vape. Um, I would look it up, but we're recording on my phone. I have... Mine didn't say The shipping so container somewhere, but... I don't know where it's at. And this video is getting a little bit long. So, yeah. Long story short. Game on. Game on.